Hey everybody, we're doing a McDonald's tier list. I'm feeling opinionated once again, so I'm in the tier list type mood. Today's gonna be a little McDo uh, McDonald's themed, a little fast food themed, but let's go ahead and open this up. So what do we got? We got most of the mainstays. There was a couple lists with more items, but it was like a bunch of like coffees and stuff. Dude, I don't go to McDonald's for the coffee, man. If you go to McDonald's for your coffee, you're probably the, like nine to five worker. You know, you're just trying to get to the office, go to your cubicle, and that's fine. Um, but I'm like a, I'm a real eater, you know, I'm trying to get in there and get a McDouble. Um, seeing that, let's go ahead and get started. Man, where to start? Um, you know, okay, let's start right from the beginning. Egg, bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. Now, between the biscuit and the McGriddle, it's been a long, long, you know, decade war in my brain of like, what do I like better? Because there was like, a couple of years i only ate biscuits and just as of recent literally this past month i've been going back to mcgriddles and i'm like oh why did i ever leave you baby girl like whew, it can get a little spicy in there so i'm gonna go ahead and stick the bacon egg and cheese biscuit b yeah it might deserve i'm gonna say it's like the high b right it's like almost there um but you need to you know maybe i need a few more ex good experiences and get promoted to an a tier hash brown okay i'm thinking hash brown's an a right you know what quick switch two in a row i'm gonna bring it down to b for one reason only the price the hash brown it's delicious it's as far as the breakfast menu it's probably one of the most satisfying especially with some good ketchup the hash brown is delicious but the problem is it's like two something dollars for a thing that's like this big the hash brown should not be that expensive, um, but the thing is, it's delicious. So, if we're talking about pure taste, it's A, but it's going to be a B because of its price. And I, I feel like I say this in a lot of food videos, but this tier list is all-encompassing. You know, the the price, the taste, how it makes you feel, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's everything. It's not just the taste because price is big in my mind, right? I'm not a billionaire here. I'm kind of broke. So... Price has to be good. Fruit and maple oatmeal. We're gonna go ahead and go to B. I actually really love the oatmeal. I get it sometimes in the morning and it's delicious. I love the oatmeal. I'm a oatmeal lover at heart. Um, once again, though, slightly expensive for like a little cup that they give you. So, um, and it's gonna be behind the hash brown for now. Okay, now we're getting to some of the burgers. We're talking the big boys here, okay? Big Mac. I'm gonna go straight to a um i wouldn't go as far as to say it's s tier but it's delicious it it's in my like probably top three burger items in the store so um the big mac a and i think the big mac is brought up to an a because probably obviously the special sauce it's delicious along with they always make have like extra crispy lettuce on the big macs i don't know why i get mcchickens right but the lettuce ain't crispy as it is on a Big Mac. I don't know if they use some different lettuce up in the back. But I enjoy a Big Mac quite often. Quarter pounder with cheese. And then there's a double quarter pounder. And then a quarter pounder with cheese deluxe. And quarter pounder with cheese. Are you? Do you guys really order these different types of quarter pounders? Bro, a quarter pounder is a quarter pounder. Chill. Like, I'm going to stick all these four in the same category. They're all quarter pounders, dude. If you add bacon on it, it's not that big of a difference. You just pick the bacon off. Like, what is going on with you guys? Come on. All right. Quarter pounders are all going in C. Partly because you made me angry by giving me four different quarter pounders. Bro, they're all quarter pounders. It's like, give me a, a Big Mac with ketchup or a Big Mac, a Big Mac with ranch. Bro, it's all a Big Mac. What's like... So, anyway, quarter pounders, they all go in C tier. Um, I've gotten them a few times, usually when there's like a deal going on, and I've been left satisfied. Would I like order it just like, uh, you know, I'm, f I'm feeling a little funky today. Let me go ahead and get a quarter pounder. Probably not. <sighs> I usually prefer the smaller versions, which we'll get into that later. McDouble. I'm going to go ahead and stick that at B tier. I don't know if maybe that... Some of you guys would start throwing hands at me if you saw me in real life at this point. Getting a fist fight in the parking lot. But eh, McDouble's alright. I have a new love in my life, which we'll get to when we get to it. Um, oh, <laughs> here we go. 
uh, cheeseburger S tier. This is the new love of my life. As you know, I used to be a Mc, a McDouble man. I used to go go up in there and get two McDoubles. But for some reason, the simplicity of the cheeseburger has enveloped me. Um, I think because I val, I, in my head, I always thought that the meat patty was the thing that made it delicious. Now realizing that the McDouble actually serves up a little too much sauce, a little, you know, I don't, I don't need that many patties. Two, two patties is one patty too many, and it masks the taste of the rest of the burger. You know, the condiments, the pickles, the cheese, the bun. Two patties is too much, and I learned that, you know, probably a couple, like a year or two ago. Ever since then, I've been a cheeseburger man because I know what it. What, what it's supposed to taste like so uh, do me a favor guys if you've only gotten mcdoubles if you've grown up on mcdoubles go ahead and give a cheeseburger a try you might be surprised i find it personally as a better experience uh double cheeseburger um isn't that a mcdouble the pictures are literally the same you got well, i guess you get a second piece of cheese whatever same thing. Some people are weird about their McDonald's, man. What again? What are these? Why do I got four quarter pounders on my list, bro? Do I see anything else that has like that weird similar? Okay, I guess the sausage biscuits. They got two. Oh, and I guess the bacon, egg, and cheese. But, but I feel like that's different because that's like four separate things on it that are different. Anyway, egg McMuffin. We're gonna go straight up to B tier or A B A. No, make an egg McMuffin straight up A tier. It's delicious. Can't say anything more about that hamburger we're getting eh, let's put it a b tier i feel like again the hamburger is the same thing as a cheeseburger well this is a floppy piece of cheese on it you know it's not that big of a difference i'm just gonna leave it a b for the sake of making a point that the cheeseburger is delicious the j balvin bro why do we got a menu like a special menu item on here you know screw you j balvin i'm sticking you in trash what are you why are, why is j balvin the only one where's my uh isn't there a Cardi B meal? Where's my Cardi B meal, huh? Why, why does he get his own item? Yeah, no. Four-piece chicken nugget. We're going to go straight up to A tier. Love me some chicken nuggets. I feel like the chicken nu chicken nuggets are real hit or miss. They, If they're cooked fresh, they're like out of this world. I'm talking I would like sell my left kidney for a couple of chicken nuggets if they're made fresh. Um, but most oftentimes you get them when they're like a little old. And they don't hit as hard as they really should. And chicken nuggets are the things that I, is the thing that I tend to over order, then feel sick later because of it. So, uh, buttermilk crispy chicken sandwich, going to be yeah, it's a chicken sandwich, McChicken, obviously, right? It, who would disagree? The McChicken is an S tier item. It's not like anything else on this menu. You got the lettuce, you got the chicken, you got the mayo thing. It's either one or the other, right? If I go to McDonald's, is it cheeseburger day or is it a McChicken type of day? As of recent, it's been a double day. I get one cheeseburger, one McChicken, along with maybe a fry or a nugget. That's been my recent order, but yeah. McChicken, obvious S tier. Fish filet, some of you guys might, once again, maybe want to swing at me. Fish filet, definitely an A. I love me a fish filet. Once again, it's got maybe the same problem as the chicken nuggets where you've got to go on the right day and it's got to be fresh. If it's a fresh fish filet, absolutely heaven. It's amazing. Sell my right kidney so then I'd have no more kidneys left after the McChicken or cheeseburger. I forgot which one. Oh, no, the chicken nuggets. I love me a uh, fish filet. Now, by far my worst dining experience has also come from a fish filet. Um, I got one that was like very stale. It was like rubbery and I actually wanted to throw up, but I'll forgive them. I'm a, I'm a loving guy, right? I'll forgive you McDonald's for serving me that. Um, but on a normal day, the fish fillet is real delicious. All right, let's go ahead and just like bang through a couple of these drinks. McFlurry with eminent. Is there just like another McFlurry? Okay. So there is flurry. The Oreo McFlurry, obviously S tier McFlurry with M&Ms. Let's go ahead and go in B tier. McFlurry is obviously the better one. Come on, guys, don't play with me. The or the original Oreo McFlurry is absolutely goaded. A um, little expensive, but eh, whatever. Hot Fudge Sunday, A tier. I'm not gonna put it in the same tier as McFlurries, but I love me a hot fudge Sunday. That's the item that if I 
if I go to McDonald's only for like one thing, it's usually the hot fudge sundae. Like, you know, I'm just feeling a little ice cream. I love McDonald's ice cream. I actually think it's delicious. There's something about their ice cream that no one else seems to do. They just have that right flavor. I love their flavor. I, I don't know how to explain it in human words, right? But their ice cream is genuinely good, and I don't know why. So I will go to McDonald's for an ice cream. Because it's also cheaper. You know, you go to Dairy Queen, you gotta spend like 4 or $5 on the Blizzard. Dude, you get a fudge sundae for like $2. It's delicious. Um, ice cream cone. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Ice cream cone, S tier. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm a little fiend for ice cream. The cone itself, I love the cones. I used to just buy whole boxes of cones and just smash the cones. That's slightly embarrassing, but I'm proud of it. I love cones. So just because that one has a cone on it, I'm gonna stick it up in S tier ne next to the Oreo uh, McFlurry here. Chocolate shake. Okay, let's, you know, A tier. No, no, no. You know what? Chocolate shake, B. Strawberry shake, that's an A tier. The strawberry shake is the thing that I get most often if I want to shake. The strawberry shake is delicious. Now, saying that, the mango pineapple smoothie along with the strawberry banana smoothie are both going straight to S tier. Um, I all, nowadays, I always get one of these because there is a deal on the mcdonald's app where you can get a free Mc mccaff beverage along with your order for free so i always get one of these they're absolutely goaded they're s tiers okay sausage mcmuffin yeah let's go and go to b tier vanilla shake c tier hot caramel sundae eh, same thing with the hot fudge sundae same thing a okay Baked apple pie. Now, I see they don't have a lot of the variants, right? Like the cream one. and So, I'm just let's just do an all-encompassing... Assume this is all of the apple pies. Let's go on S tier. I, that's another thing if I'm feeling a little down that day. I need a pick-me-up. I always get an extra apple pie or some of the other variant pies along with it. Can't be beat, especially if they're fresh. Chocolate chip cookies. Let's just go to A tier. Ham okay, see the hamburger happy meal and the it's a happy meal, bro. I, I, I'm not a child. I always I'll say this. I always felt they were overpriced Or like the small fry in the burger. I guess their toys are kind of goaded though, right? Hmm Okay, then I can't hate on them too hard because the toys are kind of goaded Let's go ahead and stick the hamburger happy meal over at a and you know what the four-piece chicken nugget meal We're gonna stick that at C because I think every child deserves a hamburger. Apple slices. This might be a little bit of a weird pick, but actually, I love the apple slices. I something about maybe it's because they're peeled, right? You know, I'm I'm one. You know, I'm gonna embarrass myself again. When I eat an apple, I sometimes eat the core. I don't. Maybe it's a weird habit, but I sometimes eat the core. But sometimes it's just satisfying to have the entire apple peeled for you. Okay. Sometimes you got to be five a five-year-old at heart and the apple slices do hit so i'll put that at a um i'm just gonna assume that these fries take the place of the medium and large obviously s tier right i mean that's i think the fries are really what made mcdonald's popular in the first place right like their fries are different they really are different if you go to burger king wendy's all these places you know, if you put them out in front of me, and I'm, I might not even be able to tell which fry is who. You know, they all have these thick cut fries, a little bit of salt. Hey, what do you got? Sea salt, bro. Get that out of here, bro. Salt is salt, all right? Um, but McDonald's, you know. You know that's a McDonald's fry. Even just by looking at it, obviously. But even if you taste it, you know it's a McDonald's fry. So I'm going to go ahead and put that at S tier. Sausage McMuffin with egg. Yeah, A tier, man. Sure, I love that. Hot chocolates. I'm gonna put that at B. Sausage biscuit. S tier. The sausage biscuit is what I usually get before school during breakfast. I usually drive up, get myself two sausage biscuits and a hash brown, and I'm gone. Um, it's just a nice, you know, cheap biscuit. Well, the meat has a great flavor. The biscuit has a great flavor. You don't get all that extra with the egg and the cheese and the bacon and. Bro, get me a sausage biscuit. I will devour. End of speech. Sausage biscuit with egg. We'll put it at B. Bacon, egg, and cheese bagel. C. 
big breakfast. I'm gonna go ahead and put that at mm, S tier. So here's the thing. This is my breakfast depending on the day. Sausage biscuit on my way to work or school. Big breakfast, this is the basically the item I get if I'm at home. You know, if I'm at home, I'm looking for something now. I want to sit down, watch YouTube in the morning. I give myself a big breakfast. Hotcakes, A. Sausage burrito, A. Yeah, the sausage burrito could even maybe go up to S, to be honest. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Sausage burrito. Um, I always get, and I guess I was lying before, I always get one of these two along with a sausage burrito. The sausage burrito is a 100% hit rate for me if it's breakfast time. Um, so yeah, that is currently my list. Now, as I always do with all my tier lists, let's see if we can maybe move a couple of things around, right? Because I have nothing in D and that feels wrong. So let's go ahead and start swiping here, right? Egg, you know what? The, the bagel, you're going down to D. Vanilla shake, you're going down to D. I'm going to leave most of the quarter pounders here. But I'm going to take the double quarter pounder down and I'm going to take the bacon quarter pounder down. Because, again, I'm a pretty simple man. I don't want too, too much on my burger. The second you add a second patty that shouldn't be there, or if you add bacon, bro, you already got a meat, pat a meat patty on there. You don't need more bacon. Bro, watch yourself. You're going to, like, get arth arthrosclerosis, my guy. You're going to start getting fat up in your veins, man. Like, chill. So, I'm not a big fan of adding bacon on things. Yeah, maybe, maybe I'll do, like, a Wendy's tier list later. I'm not done with the Baconators. I'm not. Um, do not put bacon on my stuff. I will eat bacon on its own. You know, maybe with some tomatoes and bread and eggs. But not on a sandwich, bro. Get bacon out of... I'm going to start the movement, bro. Get bacon out of sandwiches. Like, I just... I don't like it. Why did we as a culture start putting bacon in sandwiches, bro? It doesn't belong there. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll be done. Um, so I'll leave the other two quarter pounders up at C. The Happy Meal Chicken Nugget can stay there. What can we bring down? You know what? The double cheeseburger. We're going to bring down to C. Because I still have, you know, that pat. I, I still think that, um, the extra patty doesn't belong there. Chill with the extra patties, man. Get Just get a nice round flavor of the bun with the pickles with the lettuce with the condiments bro don't stick so much meat in your mouth so i'm bringing down the double cheeseburger here i think the rest can basically stay yeah i think the rest can stay we should really bring a couple down from a tier so you know what let's bring down the fudge sundae i actually do have a strong preference toward the caramel um, I never get the fudge sundae. I always get the caramel because I just like the caramel better. So, you know what? I will bring the, the fudge sundae down to B. And you know what? Let's bring down the chocolate chip cookies down to B. If they ain't fresh, they're not an A tier if they're not fresh. And I think everything else can stay, really. Hmm. Yeah. I think this is the list. You know what? We'll even... This might be a little bad, but I'm going to bring down the hotcakes down to B. If they're not along with everything else, yeah, they're kind of not as good. So, anyway, this is my tier list. Um, so, what, like, what's what's my normal order, right? I'm always hitting up one cheeseburger, one chicken. Get a little bit of both. And then that's this is where, you know, the variance comes in. I eat, usually either get nuggets or fries. I don't like to get both because then you got a burger and fries and nuggets and that's a little too much you know a little too much sauce on your order here so i usually get fries or nuggets as of recently i've been going more towards the fries i think yeah, maybe i've had the nuggets too much but they've been kind of like they, they haven't been real good they haven't been cooked fresh lately so i've been always kind of going for the fries and then um i usually get an apple pie if i'm feeling a little extra so that's that's my normal order um I, oh, obviously, and I always get a smoothie because of the McDonald's app. So that's, you know, if if no McDonald's app, then I'm not getting a smoothie because it's a little too expensive. But uh, usually I do get that. If we're if we're talking a special type of day, I will hit up a fish fillet. I might hit up a quarter pounder 
or more actually likely I'll probably hit up a Big Mac. Now, if it's breakfast, like I said, if I'm on my way to school or work, it's a biscuit. If I'm just chilling at home, relaxing, I'm getting a big breakfast and I always get a sausage burrito along with whatever I get. Um, never get happy meals anymore because I'm not a child, but those toys are gutted. So it is what it is. All right. I think I've rambled enough. Um, my opinion is right. But if you have a different opinion, leave it in the comments. I would love to hear it. Let me know what you guys get. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys.